Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And I've finished Tortoise. Isn't he sweet? Um, so yeah, that is a, another one done. I don't think I have yet, no I haven't, <laughs> I haven't yet got myself another display book to pop these in, but I do have the card to pop into the display book. So I am going to prep this canvas, move that out of the way before I get canvas bits on it. So what I like to do to display mine is cut a right, right up to the line on the edge of the diamond painting so that I don't have any of these canvas bits, white bits, etc. So do I want to keep one for my logbook? I might do. Logbook is on my mind because I am doing my logbook soon because it's nearly the end of the month and I always like to update my logbook on a monthly basis. I find that easier myself um, just to prep all my pictures and all that sort of stuff all at once. Um, so I've got all those prepped ready to do my logbook insert so I might pop one of these in with my logbook so that I have one ready for putting this one away and complete it. That one's got the least amount of sticky on it. There is some sticky but that's got the least so we'll keep hold of that bit and get rid of those. And then I use double sided tape and this is great for just holding them onto the piece of card and then when I get myself a new display book I can just pop each of, pop these pieces of card with my last couple of smaller paintings in and job will be a good one. So keep that aside because that's for in a minute. So with my square ones, I do tend to go for roughly a border all the way around that is around about the same size. And then using my hand to keep the diamond painting in place, I'll lift up this. This tape is the last of one of my tapes from Hobbycraft. Sometimes, just doesn't want to let me at it but it's the last of a roll and then I'll be done with it come on I nearly had it then just doesn't want it it doesn't stick hugely well to the canvas though it tends to be enough for the purposes of the display book which is just to keep it roughly in place. See if I can do better now, I'm at a different angle for the rest. And then I just let the canvas drop. The weight of the diamonds helps it to drop into place. Now I've got that top one pinned down. And then last, but by no means least, there we go. Uh, I am going to pop a sticker on this one. I don't always put a sticker on, but I need my logbook stuff out anyway. And this one is a square. So this one, do I have a pen in here? I should have. Okay, I can't find it. Let's use this one. So title is tortoise and I actually started this or at least I kit it up and I very I started it in August August 2022 
and I finished it in September 2022. Uh, this one is actually from Fan Cells. I don't have any notes off the top of my head, so I'm just going to go with that. Put the information to the left. Sometimes I put it to the left, sometimes to the right. It really does vary, but I'll pop that in there and I'll pop that just in with my stickers, etc for when I update my log book, I will be ready. It hangs on a little hook behind my desk. Okay, so display book sheet is ready. I'll pop it with my last one, which was, there's beauty and simplicity painting. And pop those two there until I get another display book. Now it is time to de-kit my diamonds. Now I put the sim these in order of symbols. So let's get them in DMC order. So 509 7s, 3000s. So I'm just putting them in rough number order at the moment. 400s, 7s, 8s, 8s sevens, nines, there we go. So I've just got them in columns according to number. And then for my rounds, I just have two boxes of rounds for my spare diamonds. So the first one, let's go for 154. It is pretty full, but I don't have many in here at all. There has been plenty of diamonds for what's been needed. But quite a few of them, like 154, was only used ever so slightly in the image, more for a bit of shading. It's the brighter colours that I've had more of, and the likes of 702 have quite a few left. Okay, 169, we have here. Let's see if we can end up with any more numbers so that I have to crack my log book out again. See if there's anything that's gonna need an update or not. We shall see. 169. Then we jump to the 400s, so 413. Quite a few of those. Quite excited to see which small painting is picked next. I wonder if it will be round or square. Sometimes I actually forget some of the paintings that I have in my small ones. I think because they're all up on a hanger, I only tend to see the one that's on the front. So I often forget what's behind it, especially when they're, um, you know, one, when it's been a while. I feel like it's been a while since I did one of my 30 by 40s. Took me a while from finishing the last one to kit up my next one. So I'm quite excited to do another one. Seven oh two, it's getting fuller. Seven four five. We've got up to eight hundred and something in this box. I have now got my rounds separate to my squares because I find it's easier when de-kitting. It does take up more room. To have the divider cards for both um, but I find there is well now there is pretty much zero chance I say pretty much because I could still pull out my squares box when de-kitting rounds uh, but there is more likely to be zero chance of me actually putting around 
putting a square diamond in with a round or vice versa. And that would be a bit of a messy clean up, to be honest. Uh, so that's the main reason that I have done it. I do have more squares than I do have rounds. And with my squares, I also do the likes of taking out any diamonds I may need for my heaven and earth design, which I won't have to do as much soon because I have got some very lovely people sending me diamonds to help with my big heaven and earth design project. I'm hoping, I say hoping because life likes to get in the way um, of getting a lot more of that done soon um, with the aim of getting it completed as soon as I can. Okay, 823, I also only have a few as well. So I am going to squeeze them in there rather than going in my extras. Okay. Eight, two, three. Stickers are coming off lovely today. I think this is one more one of my used cases. I think they come off a lot easier. Okay, box number one is Dundee done. So box number two, which has caused a few things that were sat on the top of it to clatter. And then we go into eight, nine, Four. This one's actually got a little bit more wiggle room. I might need to move some of those others over at some point. Spread them out between the two boxes before I think about having to go into a third. It's going into three. It's a lot of diamond painting, that is. Nine, two, one. A lot of diamond painting to end up with three boxes for each them. I'm sure somebody said they had four boxes for one of theirs, which is even more extreme. Um, okay, nine, two, one, nine, three, four. So yeah, I need the decision wheel to decide which painting I'm going to do next and I might take it away with me while we're on holiday. I suppose you guys will have to wait and see if I do for when I come back because I can't guarantee whether I will or I won't at the moment. I think it will partly depend which one it will pick and how many colours it has in it because I don't want to take away anything big. And it might be that I take it away with me, but then don't actually get to work on it because I am definitely taking my mini kits. The two mini kits that I still have on the go, I'm definitely taking those. And I want to finish those first. So it really depends how much time I get to diamond paint. Oh, we have a color that I have not had before. So all of my diamonds, I have put a bag in with a sticker on with one of our little stickers from the shop saying what DMC number it is. I've put one in every slot, whether I have diamonds for it or not. It saves when I'm de-kitting. It saved me then having to get a bag out, having to get my stickers out having to put the right number on and pop it in my tub. Um, saved all of that process, the fact that I was still just able to tip those diamonds in straight away. But I do like to update my logbook with a current list of what I do and don't have. So that's why I've kept that bottle out with its, with its sticker still on there. And I will update my logbook as soon as I've finished putting the diamonds away. 3609. There's only about seven or eight different numbers in the 36 range, and this painting's had two of them. And the three eights of which there's loads, it's only got one. 
I guess sometimes it depends on either what software is used by the company as to you know whether they use software with a limited number of diamond colors because there's what 450 odd I think we've put it down to I know quite often companies say there's 447 and I actually compared one company's 447 list to mine and numbers that they said they didn't have um, I actually already had spares in those numbers so whether it just depends on which company as to which spares they have I don't know and diamonds that I didn't have any of in either square or round were on their list as being used in diamond painting so let's see. I don't quite know what happened but I have I'm sure it's 450 odd different colours of diamonds and I don't have them all there are some that I don't have any of in square or in round and then there are some that I only have in one or the other but I keep them all in here is it in this one it is so my spares square and round and I've got 3021 I've got it in square already and now I also have it in round and that's where my pen was hiding so 3021 I now have in round so you say there's a couple of colours 3013 I don't have an either and 3032 I don't but they are on that list that I checked off so who knows what's going on with it anyway my logbook's been updated that is one thing that I definitely do straight away uh, it is a lot easier to just give it that tick to say yes I have that diamond than it is to write it down somewhere else or try and remember to add it in later but it's definitely easier to do all the pictures and the information about new paintings all at once because otherwise my brain forgets what's come in and what's come out. If I'm busy when it comes in the house, it doesn't go in straight away and it just confuses me. So I stick to monthly for that. Right, I have a little bit of residue on that pot. But I don't think I particularly have it. Oh, there is a couple of bits on others. Let's give it a quick once over with Goo Gone. If the childproof bottle will let me in. This is my... Lint free Gugoni cloth. And there is a couple with just an ever so slight bit of a residue of sticky. But that has got it off. And then I give it a wipe over with a dry part, just so I'm not leaving loads of orangey smelling Gugon everywhere. And there we go. My storage is clean and ready to go away. Oh, I need to take that off. That's just the sticker off my diamonds and canvas that tell me, oh look, it's got a pretty pattern on the back. Um, tells me what diamonds were in here. But I like to put my storage away clean because there's nothing like going to start a new painting and then feeling like you have to clean up before you can kit it up. But there, yeah. tortoise is done and dusted, as I like to say. So thank you so much for joining me um, while I de-kitted my tortoise. Uh, don't forget to join me when I my app decides which one I'm going to do next and of course my logbook update where I will pop the completed picture of tortoise and add in the probably too many more that I have picked up since then but thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon <laughs>